Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? We are only 10 days away from the end of NaNoWriMo. I hope uh, you're all doing good. I'm on target. So far so good. Uh, it's getting harder to keep those targets every day though. So hopefully you guys are doing better than I am. And I'll see how I do today. Um, I haven't done any writing or even thinking about it with the upcoming uh, Thanksgiving and everything. I've been uh, running around doing errands and getting things ready for that. So. It may be a little harder to reach my goals the next couple days, we'll have to see. But until then, let's uh, go over to Scribner and I'll show you what I accomplished yesterday. And, or did I show you that already? I do not recall. So, we will go over to Scribner, see what kind of tidbits we can show you today. And uh, we'll go from there, but uh, hopefully you will have uh, a good Thanksgiving if you're watching this before that day. If uh, you're watching it after Thanksgiving, you're not on day 20, and you're just following along, but at least you're following along and you're doing the writing. So have a good one on Thanksgiving, but let's go ahead and jump on Scribner and see what's over there. Alright guys, welcome back into Scribner on day 20. Uh, hopefully you all are reaching your goals, and uh, I did some knockout writing earlier today, so I just want to bring that up. And show you my target. Uh, I'm at 41,457. So for day 20, with 10 days left to go for Nano I am still on target. Hopefully, I can continue to do that. Like I said earlier, it's been getting harder and harder to keep on track of that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So today. I was going to kind of go over something new I've been playing with, and that is keywords right here. If you go up to the top there, you see a little key and a button. And I have uh, some keywords that I put in automatically, or already before I brought this up to you guys. And what I have here is uh, I have characters, frowned, records, and rows. And I'm going to show you where those are momentarily. But uh, what you do at the bottom here of the keyword display, you can see add new keyword as sibling, or you can add new keyword as child. And that's what I did for characters. I just went ahead and added a sibling. I'm just going to write character, hit enter. And what I wanted to do is put character names under those characters. That's what I did for this one where I put Bonacera as a sibling. So if you highlight your main keyword that you want as a sibling, and you want to create a child for it, you go ahead and click the button next to it that is a child, and you can call it anything you want. Nikki, I have Bonacera here. So there's just a few keywords I did. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. That's the third button down at the bottom there. So now i got characters, Bonacera, Frown, and records. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is highlight Bonacera, and I'm going to hit the search button down there. And what it's going to do, I'll just drag it to the side here a little bit, is show me the scenes or chapters that Bonacera is put in as a keyword. And if I bring up that document, you can see over here in the inspector panel, I put in as a keyword, Bonacera. And roll over to the right of it, you can see you can add a keyword. I'm just going to say a little word out of here. You got shrugged. I don't think I say that too often in any of my other ones. And you can see as I enter it over here and shrugged as this document, it's also adding it to my keywords over there. And you can delete it if you don't want it, but I'm going to leave it for now. And then over to the side here is a little settings dial. If you click on that, project show project keywords, that's the display that we're showing on the left-hand side. And if you do add keyword, it will show you the keywords, including your child and siblings, that you already created in there. And I accidentally clicked characters, so I'm going to get rid of that. So if you're not sure what keywords you've been using, you can go ahead and click that little dial or gear at the far right. You can go to add keyword, 
and it will show you the ones that are already displayed in your other documents. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that shrugged as part of that. And you can see if I click on the other scene here, which is basically the same document, it has the keyword for that character Bonacera, but it does not have the keyword shrug that I selected in the other document. So let me move this out of the way. And one of the reasons I've been using keywords, say you have this character Bonacera, and the certain scene that you've written is in his point of view, or it's just about him. Well, I would add a keyword so I can keep track of that because there will be other scenes where he may be mentioned by another character, but he's not necessarily in that scene. So if you wanted to keep track of point of view for your character or how many scenes they are in, you would go ahead and add it as a sibling underneath the keywords, say characters, and any characters that you wanted to keep track of, you could add as a child under that sibling. I don't have any other ones in this one, so I'll put judge, because I see that in that document also. But I don't have it in this document, so I'm going to go over here, hit the gear button, add a keyword, and I can see under my characters, I have a child judge. So I'm going to add that to that one. And as I go ahead and close out the keywords, I'm going to go back to my binder. You can see it's at ch scene 4 in chapter 8. I'm going to go back up to my manuscript and say I want to, I want to find out where that scene was that I had a judge. So I'm going to go ahead and do my keywords. Judge is already selected because that's what I was sitting on. And hit search. And there you go. I have that scene where the judge is mentioned. Not necessarily a character or point of view in this, just an example that I wanted to put in there. And I can also delete that out of there. It says it's in use. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So now under my characters, I just have Bonacera. I'm going to close that out. And you can see it just has the one document. But over here in your search, say you wanted to do your search for that keyword. But typically when you're doing a search, you're searching the word judge everywhere. And as you can see on the left-hand side, I got scene 4, scene 4, scene 5. And it's coming up with all the judges. So you're not really keeping track of your keywords, you're just keeping track of that word within your document. But if you look at the little spyglass, there's a little arrow next to it, and you can see what you can search in. You can search in all, title, text, so you can search in keywords. And as you see, if I go ahead and enter that, it's not coming up anymore because I deleted it as a keyword within that document. Let me go ahead and add it in there. Go to characters. As you can see, it's no longer there. But if I go ahead and hit the plus, judge, and enter, go back up to here, make sure we're still searching for the keywords. And you can see on the left hand side that scene four does come up. Now, if you do want to save that changes and you don't want to be going into your keywords all the time like I showed you before as a collection you can still save that search as a collection so that would go up there I'm going to go ahead and capitalize judge and it's going to give me that green one scene four and judges in there now if you wanted to change it to the judge for all, you're going to get all those. You can still go in here and save it as a collection. I'll just put Judge 2 and I'll capitalize it because I like to make it look nice. Click OK. And now you have a Judge 2 that's showing all those scenes. 
some of the colors are getting funky. Let's bring that down. That is just a few things that you can do with keywords and your searches. You can do point of view. You can make certain scenes as keywords so you can keep track of those. So I hope that helped you uh, kind of organize your thoughts a little bit more, organize your scenes a little bit more, and keep track of your characters. I had fun showing you this little tidbit today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close all the manuscripts right there. And I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.